Good morning, NHCS family and friends. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our quote today comes from C.S. Lewis. Humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. Let me read that one more time. Humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. We have no birthdays to celebrate today. Uh, we did miss uh, Miss Honeywell's birthday yesterday, so happy belated uh, birthday to Mrs. Honeywell. Uh, Mrs. Honeywell was a former teacher at New Hampton Community School and in our district, uh, but now she's the children's librarian down at the Gordon Nash Library, and she comes to run a couple sessions in our after-school program. So our students are well aware of uh, Mrs. Honeywell. So happy belated birthday. Our joke Today, what day of the week are most twins born? Tuesdays. That's not true, but anyways, it's a kind of cute joke. Our vocabulary word for today is bolster. Bolster means to support, strengthen, or fortify. Ryan had to bolster his flooring by adding another 2 by 4 to the foundation. My words of advice. Uh, I don't really have any today. I wish uh, someone could tell me about black flies. They were awful yesterday, and uh, Fenway and I did not have fun walking the many times he had to. she had to walk uh, yesterday. So um, I wish that someone could make millions of dollars if they could um, get rid of, not get rid of because I know they're probably really important in our ecosystem, the black flies. Um, but maybe to get black flies not to uh, be a nuisance to to people. So someone someone could become a scientist and and earn a lot of money probably by doing that. Yeah, no really important words of advice today. Uh, it's gonna be a nice day. So again, get that work done, uh, or even you know take a long break it, as long as you come back to the work. Um, so. Really no words of advice today. So let's move on to our question of the day. Would you rather be able to talk to the animals or speak all foreign languages? This is a hard one. Would you rather be able to talk to all the animals or speak all foreign languages? Well, sometimes I have a hard enough time with English. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Even though if I could speak all foreign languages, um, oh, Fenway's trying to say hello this morning. I'm scraping at something. Um, uh, this is a tough one. I think I'd like to be able to talk to the animals, especially now having Fenway. Um, I wish Fenway understood a little bit more of, we have to go outside to pee, um, or, we got to go in now because mommy has a meeting. Uh, so I guess uh, it's not only talking to the animals, but maybe the animals uh, listening and understanding too. So I don't know, it's a weird, it's a tough question today, but you can ponder it with your family. So let me read it one more time. Would you rather be able to talk to the animals or speak all foreign languages? All right, that's all I have for today. So in our closing, um, have a thrilling Tuesday. Uh, we all miss you and we all wish we were back at school. Um, and we will hopefully um, see you and talk to you soon. All right. Take care of yourself. Be well.